Halo Infinite Memory Agent Part 2 Emergency Alert Emergency Alert Why am I not freaking out right now? You would think someone with no memory would scream like a lunatic when they hear Emergency Alert. But there is a feeling inside of me that knows. Oliver, status update. The alarm indicates that we are no longer in a network sector. No UNSC ships will come to our rescue if we are captured. Our mission is... off the books. Have we been spotted by any non-UNSC ships? Affirmative. But most of the vessels that are aware of our presence are farther than our route to the rendezvous point. Most? I've been wrong before. Oh, <laughs> have you been wrong on any of our previous missions? For your emotional well-being, I'd rather not answer at this stage of your consciousness cycle. It's weird when you realize an AI knows more about your emotional well-being than you do. Here's what I know. I know how to act in an emergency. I know how to fire a pistol. I know that I'm part of a war effort. Other than that? Nothing. Deep breath. If this is supposed to be my last mission, then I better just keep my head down and follow through. Lieutenant, your biofeedback just registered a slight increase in cortisol before leveling out. Just wanted you to be aware. Thank you for that. Oliver, why did Mateus laugh when I asked him about the Master Chief? Is he... well-known? Affirmative. Spartan 117's exploits are well-known among military and civilian populations. Have I met him before? Access his personnel file, put it on visual. The only thing it says on here is Spartan 2. Is there anything else you can access? The UNSC archives contain many first-hand recollections. But Lieutenant, researching your rendezvous target is not critical to this mission. Oliver, if there's a 28% chance that I'm going to die, I would at least like to know who it was I died trying to reach. Opening UNSC archives. Stop. Play that. This is from the UNESCO New Mombasa Heritage Site Reflections Project. My name is Faith Abdi, and I worked for Mombasa Water and Power. I am a hydrological scientist by training, Basically, I oversaw the critical pipelines for the city. I was at work when the ships came. I thought it was a storm at first, but we all looked out the window and there was a white hot streak cutting across the sky. Then another, and then within seconds, destruction all around us. People outside, running for their lives, screaming and... and dying. It was unbelievable. My co-workers and I evacuated to the closest port, trying not to look at all the carnage around us. But then, we hear this loud boom, boom, boom. And crawling over the wreckage of buildings was this giant robot crab. Lieutenant, the civilian is referring to an enemy vehicle. Covenant Heavy Assault Platform. A scarab. The way that scarab was stomping over the city, I call my home. Its history, its beauty. It felt like... All of humanity was like a cigarette butt. We turn a corner only to reach a dead end. And there's a troop of ugly little bastards pointing their blast guns right at us. I closed my eyes because maybe dying doesn't hurt as much when your eyes are closed. And then I start hearing shots. But then, silence. The shots stopped, but I'm still alive. I open my eyes, and there are all the grants dead in front of us, killed by this giant armored soldier. It was 
The Master Chief! The Master Chief saved our lives! The Master Chief nodded at us and took off. It was just a nod to him, but to us, oh, that nod felt like he was reminding us that we count too. We may not know how to fight aliens, but all of us, we all have something to offer. We all have to survive. We started hugging and sobbing, but then we all had an alert on our comms. The sea wall was breached, and the reservoirs were at capacity. The entire city was going to be flooded, unless the overloaded pipelines were diverted. My pipelines! I needed to open the water release pathways. I can't lie, I was scared, but I thought again about the Master Chief nodding. I raced back to the building. I'm standing in the control room, trying to figure out which emergency spillway to open. The one near the canals or near the train tunnels. I could see what was happening on the monitors. The Master Chief and the soldiers were trying to shoot down the scarab near the canals. And it was clear they were on the losing end. The canals would be like a lobster trap. Easy to find its way into, but not so easy to get out of. And then the sluice gates and overpasses would keep it cramped in place. So I opened the spillway which flooded the train tunnels. Ooh, the rest is history. Ha! The UNSC was able to divert the scarab into the dry canal, jamming it up in the locks. And the Master Chief destroyed it. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. I looked at the Chief on the monitor and I nodded right at him. Just the way he did to me, Elia. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Lieutenant, you appear to be holding your breath. I am programmed to lead guided meditations. Oh, uh, no, th that'll be a negative, Oliver. That civilian faith risked so much. When was that battle again, Oliver? 2552. And what year is it now? 2559. Seven years. Oliver, how many more first-person accounts are there of the Master Chief? 6,480. Wait. 6,481. Huh. Uh, Oliver, I know I must have asked this before. How long have I been- Lieutenant, you do ask, but not this early. Recommending a hold on your inquiry. Why? For the success of the mission. Let's do this a different way. Search me in the UNSC archives. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I am unable to provide you with any information. Oliver, I am overriding your empathetic program. Look me up in the archives. I am unable to look you up in the UNSC archives because you do not exist in the UNSC archives.